What is up guys? It is Sticks here and today I'm going over this week's Ascendant Challenge. Now this week you want to make sure that Petrovenge is in the Dabalian Mists where you transmat in because that will mean you are in the correct load zone. Make sure you grab your Ascendant Challenge bounty and any tinctures you might need and then hop on your Sparrow in order to go to the next part of where we got to be. Feel free to follow along. This week's Ascendant Challenge is the Sumerian Garrison. So if you already know where that is, you can go ahead and just go there and then skip to the point in the video where I enter the Ascendant Challenge. If you hit a loading screen here, don't be too worried about having to wait for a couple of minutes. It's fairly regular likely due to reset. Come on down into this cave. This is the entrance for the Lost Sector that this week's Ascendant Challenge will be held. I don't remember what it's called. It's about to show up. But either way, it's the one that is in the rotation right now for Legend and Master Law Sectors. It's very quick, actually. Especially if you have 1k, I don't, but if you do, it's really fast. Chamber of Starlight, there it is. You can skip past pretty much every mob in here. None of them do nearly enough damage to be a threat whatsoever. Especially if you have something like sniper damage resistance which I highly recommend. Pop your tincture at about here, because there's a couple of mobs in here that might be annoying. Use Curse of the Falling Star if you have it on your Titan. Uh, on Hunter or Warlock, use respective damage supers. This is the final boss in the room, so Chaos Reach. Maybe Top Tree Dawnblade, because there's a bit of parkour as well. And like Celestial, Nighthawk, stuff like that. And then on your chest piece, try to have whatever damage resist mods you're comfortable with. So when you first spawn in, you're going to want to first... I went in the wrong direction. Alright, so looking at it from the middle, dead on with where you're supposed to be running, you're going to want to go a little bit to the right. Onto this sort of floating rock to the side of the spawn circle. And then the first Ascendant Egg is right down at the bottom of that cliff. I'm going to be going for these Ascendant Eggs in order as we come across them. Because in the Sumerian Garrison Challenge, it is extremely difficult to retrace your steps without dying. Not to mention, once you get the last egg, you kind of can't leave. Unless you can fly. So... Dodge all these yeet portals. You can ignore pretty much every mob in here. They will do some damage, but you, you can ignore them. If you don't want to though, I would recommend murking the shriekers and uh, killing some of the hobgoblins. That'll make things a lot easier for you if you're having trouble with surviving. pretty general rule in stuff like this because that as you can see the shrieker is kind of peppering me even though I have really high damage resist against its damage as we're running along here uh, you'll see that there are a bunch of these taken thrall that are spawning you can kind of just ignore those because they're just going to respawn if you kill them anyway there's another egg right there so let's just look up from this location, and it is right where I'm just shot again. Ignore all of these phalanxes, because the second you walk past them, they turn into knights. I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind, they spawn right here. Okay. So yeah, you want to run from these knights. Like, hard. There's no reason to not begin sprinting. They're 
you can kill them. Uh, you kill them for a bounty. It's like the Abyssal Champions or whatever. If you're looking for the Lore Bones, they are actually right here at the edge of this bridge where I'm standing, right where I'm looking. So, feel free to just go on back and then continue sprinting away from these things. They will would have a tough time killing you, but what's annoying is the knockback from when they do the slam. It can throw you off the edge because of how thin all of the platforms are. Uh, if you're having trouble with the Acolyte Eyes, feel free to just shoot them. They're, they take tons of damage, or rather they have really low health. I ignore them. Once again, watch for these Phalanx portals, especially the ones right here. These are terrible. If you could sort of just sprint through the middle while sliding to get out of the way of certain ones, that's best. Ignore all these Shadow Thrall boys. And once you get to about here, uh, if you want to chill out for a second, all of those knights will stop chasing you when you stand on that along with the thrall. It's very odd, but it happens. So for this parkour set, uh, this is where I recommended Icarus Dash. You can also use a Stompy's Hunter or Lion Rampant. I'm using none of these to show that it's actually not super difficult to do it without, though the rocks do kind of turn. Same way as the ones at the end of the Agonarch Abyss do. So you do want to be a bit careful. Not to mention you can't see. At least I can't see. Then you just super. Yeah, you, you just super the boss at the end. Uh, he, every class has a shutdown super that will just insta kill him. Like, if you use. He's technically supposed to have three phases. But you know. Chaos Reach nukes him. Celestial Nighthawk nukes him. First of the Falling Star nukes him. Uh, once you've done that. Feel free to jump off that ledge the way that I just did. And when you sort of sit in this little lip, uh, you can shoot the egg. Now, I am going to give you a very fair warning. You can't really get up from here. So you now live down here, unless you are willing enough to just jump off the edge like I'm doing. Uh, if you need to get the time trial, you have to exit through the portal. So you'll have to run this twice if you've never ran it before. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, do like, comment, etc. Thanks for watching.